Jeez! Guys, here's an unusual tool for you, which I'm about to do a review of. Uh, I'm going to show you, you know, the features of the pliers. Uh, this is the CK fencing pliers, part number T3866. Excellent tool. Um, I will, you know, show that in this video, hopefully. Uh, but before we get into that, um, if you could give the video a like at the end of the, the video, that would be much appreciated. Right, guys, that's out of the way. <laughs> we'll get into this now. Yeah, so I elected for the, the CK fencing pliers, uh, which are probably one of the best you get. Um, the, the set I had before were Draper. They weren't that great, to be honest. Uh, but these are really heavy duty, good quality, uh, you know, German engineering from CK. Okay, so what you get with these uh, pliers, uh, I mean, there's a, a small hammer section there, which can be used as a hammer, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I mean, it's good if you're... If you haven't got a hammer on you, you just need to, you know, hammer a couple of things in. Um, it's handy for that. Uh, you have this substantial hook here, uh, which is removed, uh, is used for digging in and behind staples and getting them out. Okay, so the next feature on pliers like these is, um, let's move this back a bit. There's obviously this hook, which is uh, used for removing staples. So especially staples like this, you know, if they're, if they're hanging out a bit, you just get the hook under and then just roll the, use the curvature of this just to roll the staple out. And another one here. Let's get the hook under and just roll, roll the staple out like that, no problem. Here's an example of a sunken in sta staple again. It's really sunken in, so this is where you would use the point. Get the point just in behind. Use the end of the hammer section here. Uh, give it a chap. And just le lever the staple out with the hook. Then you can get the pincers in. And again, just pull the staple out. This is the game changer for me. These uh, sharp pincers here, which can get in behind staples. Pinch in behind the, the staple and just roll it out with the, the curvature of the tool. Again, if the staple's you know, in against the wire and there's a slight slight bit hanging out you can actually get the pincers in behind the staple just, just grip with the long handles and again just roll the staple out using the curve you can see the grip there and that's an that's an excellent feature uh, the cheaper ones don't really have or if they do they're not as good these are really you know tight and sharp that you can get in even the sunken staples you can get in so this is an ideal tool for that Okay, so another use of these pliers is the, the dreaded staples, you know, when you're trying to hammer them in to start with. As you saw previously, you know, they, they ping out, you know, you can hit your fingers, they're, they're just awkward to, to get in position. It's not so bad in here, I'm just doing a, a mock-up here, but, uh, but what these pliers do is you can place actually place the staple in here, like this. Push that in there, um, you can see the staple sticking through. And then that allows you just to line up the staple, hold it in place uh, with the pliers there. Just use your hammer now, you can just tap that in. Release the pliers, hammer the staple home. Uh, we have another set of pliers here, which to be honest, I don't know really what have a use for. Just a set of grips there. Um, and here and here we have uh, you know the wire cutters. Right, guys, I thought I would just demonstrate the the wire cutting feature. So to do that, if you open the hand, you'll see that in there. If you open the handle, that's, you, you see that opening up. Uh, we've got two and a half millimeter uh, strainer wire here. So slot it in. Cuts. I mean, I'm applying hardly any pressure at all, and these you know they cut no problem at all. from this side you 
no problem at all. Yeah, that's two and a half mil strainer wire. Um, this is actually two and a half millimeter or 2.4 millimeter uh, TIG welding wire. Again, just normal carbon steel. Again, they, uh, they cut these with ease. Uh, you can see that. From this side, a bit of close up there, just a quick squeeze. I mean, the length of these handles uh, produce such an amount of leverage, you know, so you can. I haven't tried these with you know larger gauge wire, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll be they'll do up to 3.2 easily. So it's an overview of the tool. Uh, really heavy, really substantial. Uh, to give you an idea of the size of the tool, uh, we'll lay it there, and you can see it against here's the standard Nipex pliers, which are 200 millimeters. So these are not small, you know these pliers. So you can see really substantial. Uh, the, the thing I like, the handles are, you know, there's a fair bit of length that the handles there, so they do give you a, a lot of leverage, you know, when you're trying to cut wire uh, with the, the wire cutters. Yeah, so just thought I'd give you an overview. Anybody that's got uh, a lot of wire or staples to, to take out, uh, these are these are certainly worth investing in. Uh, I'm just in the process of setting up my mobile fencing bag at the moment, so Vito Pro Pack uh, TP5B uh, and they're going to sit nicely in there, so that's the first tool in the bag for my uh, fencing setup, of which I'll, I'll be doing videos uh, shortly. Right guys, well hopefully uh, this video introduced you to these pliers if you haven't seen them before. Quite an unusual plier, and if, obviously if you don't do a lot of fencing, uh, they're not worth uh, buying, but for me personally, it's an ideal tool, uh, a good addition to, to the bag. Right guys, well hopefully I'll give you an introduction to these these types of pliers if you haven't seen them before. Uh, they're a worthy addition to anybody that does, you know, even a, media, a moderate amount of fencing. Uh, just just an excellent all round tool. I have to say, especially for removing staples or, or starting staples, you know, with this. Um, that's the main reason I bought these. Alright, so that's my overview of the CK fencing pliers. Uh, part number T3866. Uh, these are the 285mm versions, heavy duty, German engineering, uh, just an excellent quality tool. Uh, I mean you do get cheaper sets you know, for 15 or 10, 15 quid, but I would always recommend buying you know, the best tools you can afford. Uh, this is one of them for me, uh, and this will last years. Okay, so if you found the video of any interest at all, uh, please give it a like, and uh, if you can consider subscribing to my channel, it would be much appreciated.